Hi, everybody. My name is Hafa Lombardino, and this is Translation Confessional. The Importance of Physical Activity As you well know, our profession is a sedentary one. Whether you're a translator who is chained to your computer desk or an interpreter who spends hours and hours inside a booth or waiting for your appointment in court or at a doctor's office, the fact is that we hardly move throughout the course of our workday. And considering how many of us may not have a set schedule, day turns into night, that turns into day, and when we least expect, we realize our health is deteriorating. Back and neck pain, swollen legs and feet, repetitive string injury on wrists and elbows, headaches, computer vision syndrome, overall fatigue. On top of all that, we mostly don't eat well either, resorting to snacking all day, ordering delivery or takeout, eating at odd hours. It's time we paid more attention to our health if we want to make hours a sustainable activity and ensure longevity. Even though I've always tried to be active, I started to pay more attention to my health after having my second child because I had gestational diabetes. When my son was almost one year old, I made a commitment to fit exercise into my schedule. Since the midwives who had assisted me throughout my pregnancy said that diabetes could come back for good within five to 10 years if I didn't take care of myself. I started trying out different classes at the local YMCA, got into running, went back to swimming, which I used to do as a kid. That way, there would be more accountability to show up for classes, interact with people, and get some exercise. The fact that I have very active kids helps too, because we're always doing something on the weekends. I also got an activity watch to keep track of my steps. I try to reach at least 6,000 steps a day and 350 active minutes a week. I'm not much of a numbers person, but I do like statistics and progress bars, pretty much like the ones I see every day in the cat I use for my translations. Reaching 100% of my goal, not only in the number of words translated, but also on physical activities performed through the day, the week, month, became addicting to me and gave me a renewed sense of accomplishment. Not only has my health improved, as I can see on lab test results after my yearly checkups, but my mind also gets a well-deserved break from work. When I'm working out, I like listening to audiobooks or podcasts, So on top of getting some physical benefits from my activity, I also get to learn and reflect on different things. And this is all beneficial to my work too, because I go back to the computer with more energy to tackle my projects, and I end up organizing myself better, since there's very little room for procrastination when you have a tight schedule. With all that in mind, and inspired by similar efforts from fellow translators in Europe, I ended up creating a challenge back in April 2017 for fellow translators and interpreters who have Portuguese as one of their working languages. The challenge is called Mishasi, which means move, and it's hosted by an app called Endamondo, which we use to record all of our activities. All we need to do is select the activity we're about to perform and press play, then press stop when we're done. The active minutes are then computed and we have a ranking to see how much we're able to move as a group during the course of three months. I cannot believe we've just started on our 13th installment this month, celebrating three years of challenges. It's really great to see colleagues sharing what they've been doing to move more between projects and assignments, and group members have been able to travel the world through the pictures we post of places where we've been walking and running, swimming, biking, rollerblading. If you work with Portuguese and you would like to join us, check the episode description for a link to the current Endomondo Challenge, as well as a link to our Facebook group, where we keep in touch and motivate each other. If you don't work with Portuguese, but the idea of moving and having a sense of community with fellow translators and interpreters is something that sounds good to you, you can create your own Endomondo Challenge and invite your colleagues. Maybe those who work in your language pair, in your specialization, or in your location. 
So what physical activities do you enjoy doing to relax before or after tackling a project or assisting interpreting clients? I'd love to know what you do to move more and fight the sedentary lifestyle imposed by a professional activity. Send me an email at rlombardino at wordawareness.com or leave a voice message on my anchor page. If I get enough feedback and voice messages, I can go back to the subject and post a special podcast episode with everyone's opinion on this very same theme. By the way, my anchor page is anchor.fm slash translation dash confessional. I look forward to hearing from you. Stay tuned for weekly episodes and subscribe to Translation Confessional through your favorite podcast app.